Hello, Teuton Talk listeners. It's Anthony M. Teuton, June 3rd, Monday, June 3rd, 2019. I'm here with Tammy Jane Lepp. Tammy, it's nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good, Anthony. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm great. So we're here at the NAC Studios, and uh, you have a studio here. Can you tell us a little bit about your art? Um, okay, so the basic premise of my art over the last eight years has been fiber art installations and wearable art um, based around the th- exploration of metamorphosis, gestation, transformation, life, death, life cycles, uh, digging into the depths of our psyches, getting the getting that good grit up in our teeth and finding out, exploring what fuels us, uh, making friends with our monsters so we can not let them fuel us anymore. Well, that's quite interesting. (laughs) That's very intriguing. And what type of materials do you mainly use? Uh, Generally fiber art. So I'm a felt maker um, and uh, teacher of felt making, um, which is a strange process that I I fell into. I finished my third year of school uh, focused on ceramic sculpture and then I moved from Toronto to St. Catharines and I no longer had access to a kiln so I started researching alternative methods of sculpture and I found felt making of all the things. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. And where are you from originally? Uh, Omimi, Ontario. Which is where Neil Young was born, correct? That's right, that's right. Um, he actually performed uh, at the Coronation Hall last year, and when I was in grade six, I played Charlie Brown on that same stage, so we can just say I performed with Neil Young. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So you uh, were in a fo- photographic contest, and you won a trip recently, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, I won a trip to the Dominican Republic uh, through a photo contest. It was more of a social media popularity contest than anything, but I won a trip for two to the Dominican Republic. And you're going there and then you're coming back and you will be moving to Mexico. That's correct, yes. (laughs) And where are you moving to Mexico exactly? Uh, Puerto Vallarta. I used to live there in my 20s, so I'm going back. It always feels like home to me when I'm there. Great. And you plan on continuing to create art while you're there? Of course. I can't not. I, I create arts. I... Uh, I write, which is, uh, of course, another art form. Uh, there's always something creative that, that fuels me that I have to be doing. And what do you draw upon as inspiration for your artwork? Um, well, over the last eight years, it's been transformation, um, life, death, life cycles, metamorphosis, um, exploring our subconscious minds. I'm really also fascinated by, um, this was an installation I did quite a few years ago called Project Pod, uh, the notion of other dimensions. So Project Pod was portals to other dimensions. Um, basically what I, what I want to do is, what my goal as an artist is um, to take people out of their daily head spaces and sort of tap them on the shoulder, shake them up a bit, and get them to step out of these societal expectations that's just a whole bunch of nonsense and we're, we're missing the point of living. Mm-hmm. And so the artwork that you end up creating or ultimately create while in Mexico, will you exhibit that here or do you plan on exhibiting that down there? Um, I actually have uh, no defined plans, which is <laughs> most of my art. There, there is no plan to the final outcome. I just create and see where the chips land. I'm sure I will be displaying down there. Project Pod, uh, Portals to Other Dimensions, um, started out as me taking these creations and hanging them in undisclosed locations. So people walking by just uh, happenstance upon them and go, what the fuck am I looking at? And so I'm taking a few pods with me to the Dominican Republic. I'm taking a few of my fiber art mushrooms. And so some will be coming to Mexico with me as well. Um, for people to stumble across and it make them wonder and imagine. Well, that's great. I uh, was recently in Mexico and have to say I was very inspired by the culture there. Um, what are your impressions of the culture in Mexico? Um, I love it. It's raw and real, and there's a, a real uh, there's a different sense of connection and community there that um, I don't necessarily 
find anywhere else in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, unique. Uh, of course, the food is spectacular, um, but the, the it's the the people are just phenomenal and embrace you in a way that I don't necessarily find in Canada as much. Not knocking um, Canada, I am Canadian. I love my country. Um, but there's an ease where people seem to be more open to connecting than, than they are here. Yes, I found there was a warmth that doesn't really exist as much here. And uh, I certainly found a bit of a culture shock when I came back as compared to going down there, um, just in terms of the changes that, that I suddenly started to pick up upon that I didn't see before. Um, where can people find your artwork? Can they find you online? Uh, yeah, you can look me up um, uh, the real Tammy Jane on Insta. Excellent. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add today for our Teuton Talk listeners? Um, you should come to In the Soil this weekend. It's In the Soil Arts Festival, and I have a co-collaborative installation with Lisa Renee McKenzie at Mate Cafe. Awesome. Well, Tammy, it was so nice meeting you. Thank you so much, and uh, enjoy your trips that are upcoming. Thank you very much. So nice to meet you. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.